Hey everybody, Greg here at Wegas at 270 Amory Street in Manchester, New Hampshire. I'm at my game store. If this is your first time checking out the YouTube channel, welcome. Just opened up my game store a few months ago. Uh, 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 uh. Um, so I picked up these magic cards this morning and uh, I have no idea what's in the box. There's, there's three boxes I picked up for 30 bucks. All right, ba boom, boom. <clears throat> Picked them up for 30 bucks. The kid I bought them from, he didn't really know what was in them. I don't even know if they were his. Um, but when I asked, you know, I asked if they'd been picked through, he says, um, he says he really wasn't sure what was in them, you know, what, what was in the boxes. Maybe he hasn't played in a long time. Maybe he wasn't too into it and doesn't know what's valuable or not. I'm guessing we're going to find commons and uncommons. So, you know, I'm really not... I really don't think we're going to find a... Oh, there's a foil. Nice. I really don't think we'll find a bunch of gems in here. But I thought it'd be fun to go through the, you know, go through the boxes with you guys as I open them. As I, you know, sort through them. So I couldn't find my tripod, so I'm using this. And I've done a little bit of testing. And if I put the camera on the, on the board games and I do this... You know, we can, we can pretty much see... Let me get rid of that, that light... We can pretty much see, you know, the same thing. So I have these, this pile of cards I did for testing. Testing the camera. So I've gone through these, nothing here. So we did have a, we did find a foil, that's pretty cool. So looking at the sets, this right here, if you're first time, I don't know why you're watching this if you don't know about magic, but um, right here it tells you the set, name, and then if it's a color, the color tells you if it's a rare, uncommon, common. This is a common, because it's white. Um, so let's just, we're looking for gold. Not actual money, like we're looking for um, that little symbol to be gold or, you know, a form of dark gold. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it's cool I have a, a, some older stuff here. People like these, um, the multi-colored cards a lot. I always love the artwork for these freaking cards. See, I don't even know what symbols the sets are. Like, I know the current stuff because I sell, I sell a decent amount of it. The card's in great shape, though, which is awesome. So, this literally might take, like, 45 minutes, you know. I don't really know how much of this people care to watch. That's a great card, by the way. I use this one in one of my decks. That's an awesome card. Yeah, I have um, I have quite a bit of the the set, the twelve set. I'm not really sure if that's how you call it, but the twelve there, the twelve and thirteen. I have a lot of more. I'll have a lot more thirteen. It's cool though, like to get you know different people when you get boxes like this. The the people. When you get boxes like this, the, the, you know... Oh, that's freaking awesome. Look at that car. You can look at that artwork, dude. Driver of the Dead. Okay, that's going in a deck. It has to. You know, because people... That's interesting. That's really cool. Um, sorry, I keep not finishing my thought. But, um... It's interesting, like... It's funny. I keep seeing... You know, it's interesting when... When you start getting into magic... And if you know, if, if you have like a lot of cards like me, um, you do start to see a lot of the same cards. Like the bat is in a few decks here, and I see, you know, I'm like, def this this one too is in, a, is in a, one of our decks. Like you start to really learn um, the cards, which I guess is obvious. But um, you know, as somebody that knew nothing about magic going into this, it's really cool to just see. 
just uh, that artwork. It's just really neat to like like learn it and like know you're learning it and recognize cards and you know I know people that play Magic for you know years and years and years you know they know thousands of cards, but it's cool when you're just starting and I'm starting to recognize and see cards a lot over and over and over. But what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it's really neat when you get boxes from people because you can see when they bought a lot of cards. Like none of these are the current sets, right? So you can see, okay, well, this kid bought them probably maybe a couple years ago, three, four years ago. Maybe I'm wrong. May, I mean, I think, you know, I think it's three sets come out a year. I'm getting into this. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you can, can you see those? Oh, my God. So yeah, I don't have. I I do have some 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 of the stuff from these sets. I, I I do recognize the symbols. But I don't have a lot of it. You know, I'd like to for my, you know, store, I'd like to have a decent amount from each set. Yeah, this is all this is all excess stuff. That's a good card. Mine rot. We're well, going on six minutes here. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many people like this. Wow, a lot of that set. See, I get in trouble when I buy cards like this because I, then I spend three days sorting and pricing. These will all be, these will all be commons on commons. So it, the pricing won't be an, won't be a thing. But separating, I mean, separating the sets, you know, that takes a freaking really long time. Yeah, usually, you know, if there's one thing I know about magic, is people usually have the good cards and binders. Oh, what is that? I don't know if that's part of the set. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess I'll just try to grab different different chunks out. You know, like uh, different chunks from different sections of the box. Well, I'll tell you what. It look, I mean, we're we're talking about all almost all commons. You know, I mean, we just passed some uncommons, but for the most part, it looks like all commons. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of the multicolored though. People, you know, like I said, those sell pretty well. Well, let me let me grab another box. He has some cards on the side. Oh, now we're talking. Rare. Looks like a promo card. You know, a rare promo card might be worth some money. Now we're talking. Oh, sorry. Did you guys even see that? I mean, it could be like a dollar, right? I mean... Oh, see, there's a Mythic Rare. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, Rare. I mean, promo card. See, yeah, there we go. There's some good stuff in here. They're on the side. Yeah, okay, it's so about two years ago. So, 
Now we're back to just, yeah, mosquito. I love that card, the mosquito card. I really like the, the, the I really like the older look. I was still making a deck, a deck, maybe even like make two decks that can play each other with the old sets, like the old. I really like the old style too. Okay, there's some uncommons. So. I was I was thinking maybe you know the perp the person you know knew that they you know they were literally all commons. <clears throat> so now we're getting into the M15 set. It looks like he uh, oh wow. Wow, good condition for being older like that. I mean, they're not that old, you know, but... I, yeah, I have a thing with card condition. It drives me crazy if... The, you know, the edge... You, you can definitely, you know, I bought a box before where... The edges, you know, the edges of the cards look like crap. I can't stand that. Looks like you... Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I can't do all the cards. I mean, my God, this will take three hours. But I'll just keep grab. I'll grab a few more chunks here. And if I find anything super awesome, you know, at the end of the video, I'll add something. I have not seen that that symbol before. That set. That's interesting. Actually, or this. I even. I don't have cards from some of these here. Yeah, I definitely, definitely don't have some of those. Um, wow, awesome condition. I gotta make a deck from some of these older ones. I, th I bet the game is a lot more simple too, which is awesome. Sometimes you play with people. And Rich, if you're watching, who comes here all the time. Um, his decks just get, you know, after like turn five, there's so much going on. He's stacking stuff and, you know, playing allies and all these abilities start stacking and tokens and blah, 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 counters. And it's just like, what is going on, man? But, you know, the older stuff is not, not like that to some extent. That's cool. I'm a real fan of the, the the nature stuff, the elves, the insects. Um, I have a spy. I have a deck that has lots of spiders in it. Yeah, green, green and blue is my thing. It's funny, you, know, you wonder like. You know, I, I'm a I'm a believer in like karma, and I don't really believe in a god. I believe in like nature, and you know, I've been called a, a Buddhist. You know, whatever. Like, I don't really practice any religion. Just try to be a good person in karma, and you know, there's like an overall energy in the world. And you know, I wonder, and that, I mean, you know, I tend to gear towards that when I play magic. That's what I like, like the, the other woodsy stuff. And I wonder, you know, if people make decks kind of sometimes around their own personal likes and dislikes and beliefs and stuff, you know. Yeah, I think I've found most of what I'm going to find. Because it was put, like, all, like the, good, the better cards, the rares and stuff, we, they were put to the side. 
in the box. They were separated. I'm surprised how few uncommons I'm finding. But, I mean, you know, this stuff, I only paid 30 bucks for it. I sell cards for 50 cents. You know, plus, it's almost like, I, I, you know, it's not almost like it is like, I really like collecting cards myself. So having just so many cards, you know, if I didn't sell one, you know, I'd, I'd you know, I still like having them all. Cole Beanerinos. You know, I'm not a big fan of the zombie stuff, and there's lots of zombie stuff in Magic. Uh, that's awesome. I love horror, though. So it's like a toss-up. Like, I love the black stuff in here. You know, the swamp, the swamp cards, because they're really, like, they're skeletons and, you know, grave lord, you know, grave whatever, graveyard keepers and crypts and stuff. And I like all that stuff. I like the horror element. Like, look, look, look how like, creepy that card is. I don't know if you can see that in the light. But, um... The thing is, though, I can't stand zombies, and they tend to like always creep in the, you know, the, the black deck, the, the swamp stuff. I guess I can just choose not to not to put a zombie card in, but it feels like you, you know, there's so many zombies in the swamp stuff. I keep my left hand keeps going to the left. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is like you could not get any more common. <laughs> You know, like, the one I'm looking at right now. Like, this is, like, com I mean, it's just, everything's a common, you know. Oh, well, there's, I mean, there's not even that much of a difference in price between commons and uncommons, either. So, I'm going to, so I'm going to chill out for a few hours, drink some coffee, play some tunes, and, you know, I like separating cards. And we'll start, um... Separating these into sets. I'd like to have a whole store divided. I'd like to have like like thousands and thousands of cards where like if you want a card you come to Wegas. You know, I, I imagine like, you know, some some game stores don't want to keep thousands and thousands of cards because, you know, they want space. <clears throat> you know, like the kind of the golden rule in retail is you know you gotta use your space and only put out what sells. If it doesn't sell, you get rid of it. But, there's something to be said for having a shitload of cards. You know? And just, even if they're common, it's just being like, oh, I need that card, you know? Greg will have it, and it'll be really organized. I'd like to, pe I'd like to people, if they're like looking for a certain card, I can just, I can put into a box. And not have to have them flip through thousands of cards, which I kind of do now. I'm getting better at it. I have, I have all the current sets separated, at least, you know? Yeah, this is, um, we're dying. We're dying. That's freaking cool. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. We've hit, we've hit the bottom of the barrel. Well, that's, you know, that's what I expected. You know, I don't think this dude's going to be dumb enough to... You know, that's why, you know, when I message him on Facebook, you know, what's in the deck, I f I what's in the box, a few other people messaged him, too. You know, uh, you could see when he posted this stuff for sale, one of the guy was like, you know, are there any rares, mythic rares? And the kid's like, you know, I don't know what's in the boxes. But, you know, he doesn't want to tell you there's nothing in there because he wants to sell them. But, um, you know. I mean, I can make decks for days with all this stuff. And that's fine. I wasn't expecting. I wonder if you. I wonder if you put a few promo cards and rare cards in there. You know, literally like six, as like a little like, you know, hey, you know, you didn't get completely screwed. You know, like I said, like five times. I I love these cards. So Thirty bucks to me is nothing for this many cards. But granted, you know, I, you know, I should be paying five bucks per thousand. And, you know, and I do most of the time. But I was curious.
That's it, folks. I'll leave it here. 20 minutes is good. I'm just... We're kind of hanging out at this point. Lands, lands. Actually, not, not, not too many lands, though. All right, guys. So, that's our pile of cards. You know, I still have, you know, there's still, I mean, I didn't even make a dent, really. You know, there's those, those, and those. Oh, here's some more. Maybe there's some stuff in here. Oh, yeah, here we go. So, real quick. <clears throat> Oh, here we go. See? Aren't you glad you stayed till the end, huh? Aren't you glad you stayed till the end? You know, I have no idea what these cards are worth. You know, I'm guessing not much, which is why they're still in the box. You know? All right, folks. <clears throat> think that will think that that'll be a wrap. Well, we didn't find gold, but we found lots of lots of cool stuff. Uh, I I love magic cards. I like I like um, literally like sorting cards and looking at cards more than I like playing the game. I don't know. I I like playing the game. Don't get me wrong, but. I've always been a fan of trading cards, and um, the artwork is just beyond awesome. So um, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching this long video. I hope like somebody found it mildly entertaining. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe I want somebody to hang out with this morning. You know. All right, folks. All right, Wegas, two seventy Amy Street, Manchester, New Hampshire. Thanks for watching. Bye.